So we have our topic of alcohol and phenol. We have to discuss about alcohol and phenol. Both alcohol and phenol belong to a functional group OH. Means a functional group OH will be attached in both alcohol and phenol in both the cases. So the basic difference between alcohol and phenol is when an OH group is attached to an aliphatic carbon chain, agar aliphatic carbon chain se juda hoga, then it is always alcohol. And if it is attached, if the OH group is attached to a benzene ring that is aromatic chain, then it is called phenol. But in both the cases, we have this functional group, means they are the hydroxy derivatives. They have OH group as their functional group. Fine. So let us discuss between uh, more about alcohol and phenol. We will discuss about their very various classification of alcohol and phenols. So the most important thing is when the OH group is attached to aliphatic carbon chain, that is a straight carbon chain, then it is always alcohol. And if it is attached to a benzene ring, to an aromatic group, then it is always phenol. Fine. So let's move forward for an example. So we will discuss about classification of alcohols. We will discuss about classification of alcohols. Before that, we should know what is alcohol. So, alcohols are the hydroxy derivatives of pain carbon chain or yeah, aliphatic carbon chain and they are characterized classified into four categories mainly so alcohols are of four types mainly four types aliphatic alcohols allylic alcohols vinylic alcohols and benzylic alcohols so these are the main four types of alcohols which we have that is aliphatic alcohols, allylic alcohols, vinylic alcohols and benzylic alcohols. These are the four types of alcohols which we have. Right? So aliphatic alcohols mean if the OH group is attached to a straight carbon chain like we have CH3, CH2, CH2, OH means this OH group is attached to this straight carbon chain, the straight ring of carbon atoms. Then this is an example of aliphatic alcohol. Aliphatic alcohol. Now, let us come for allylic alcohols. Allylic alcohols mean that if a OH group is attached to a carbon atom which is sp3 hybridized and it is directly attached to a double bond, carbon-carbon double bond, like if we are discussing about allylic alcohols, so we mean that we have a carbon-carbon double bond, this is the carbon-carbon double bond, and to this uh, sp3 hybridized carbon atom is attached, this is the uh, sp3 hybridized carbon atom, and if to this double bond, if to this is the carbon-carbon double bond, and this is the carbon atom which is attached to this carbon-carbon double bond and because this OH group is attached to this carbon atom this is because it is an example of allylic alcohol so if it is attached to a straight carbon chain then it is an example of aliphatic alcohol and if it is attached to a double to a carbon atom which is attached to a carbon-carbon double bond and the OH group is attached to this carbon atom and this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized so it is an example of allylic alcohol so in allylic alcohols we need to have a carbon atom which should be sp3 hybridized and this carbon atom should be attached to this carbon carbon double bond and the OH group should be attached to this carbon atom which is sp3 hybridized and it is directly attached to carbon carbon double bond fine so let's move forward so we have discussed about classification so the aliphatic alcohols the aliphatic alcohols are further of four types these are further four, four types monohydric 
dihydric, trihydric, and polyhydric. These are the examples of further classification of aliphatic alcohols. Monohydric means only one OH group. They will have only one OH group. Dihydric alcohol means they have two OH groups. They will have more than two. Yeah, two OH groups. Two group OH groups. Okay. Trihydric alcohols mean they have three OH groups. And polyhydric means more than three OH groups. They have more than three OH groups. Fine. So, aliphatic. Alcohol, firstly, we saw the different classification of alcohols. That is aliphatic, allylic, vinylic, and benzylic. We saw if an OH group is that directly attached to the carbon chain, to the aliphatic carbon chain. Then it is always uh, aliphatic alcohol. These aliphatic alcohols are further classified into four different categories. These are monohydric, containing only one OH group; dihydric, containing two OH groups; trihydric, containing three OH groups; and polyhydric, which have more than three OH groups. These are the various classification of aliphatic alcohols. So this monohydric alcohol or this Dihydric alcohol are also called glycols. These are mono. These dihydric alcohols are also referred to as glycols. Let us have some examples of these. But these monohydric alcohols are further divided into three different classes. That is primary alcohol, secondary alcohol. And tertiary alcohol. So these are further divided into three categories: monohydric alcohols. These are primary alcohols, secondary alcohols, and tertiary alcohol. Three DB alcohols. This means that if the OH group is attached to the primary carbon atom, then it is a primary alcohol or one degree alcohol. If the OH group is attached to secondary carbon atom, then it is secondary alcohol. And if The carbon atom, if the OH group is attached to the tertiary carbon atom, three degree carbon atom, then it is always a tertiary alcohol. So this is the classification of alcohols. We saw about aliphatic alcohols. Firstly, we saw the different classification of alcohols. Then comes to the further classification of aliphatic alcohols. These are monohydric, dihydric, trihydric, and polyhydric. Monohydric alcohols are further categorized in primary alcohol secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohol so we will further discuss them in detail we will discuss about primary alcohols one degree or primary alcohols One degree for primary alcohols. We will discuss about these. So it means that the OH group is attached to one degree carbon atom. Is attached to one degree carbon atom. For example, carbon. We have a OH group attached over here, CH2, and this is CH3. This is nothing but ethanol. So this is our primary carbon atom, and this is our hydroxy group. Next comes secondary alcohol. Or we can say a secondary alcohol or two degree alcohol. Anything we can say. So secondary alcohol means that the OH group will be attached. 
the OH group will be attached to secondary carbon atom. This will be attached to secondary carbon atom. For example, we have carbon This is our secondary carbon atom. And this is our secondary alcohol. This is our secondary alcohol. So, if the carbon atom is primary and if the OH group is attached to primary carbon atom, then it is called primary alcohol. And if it is attached to secondary carbon atom. If the OH group is attached to secondary carbon atom, then it is called secondary alcohol. So the aliphatic alcohols are of three types: primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, and tertiary alcohol. So we saw about primary alcohol, we saw about secondary or two degree alcohols. Now we will see about three degree alcohols or tertiary alcohols. We will move out to the third category of tertiary or three degree alcohols. Now comes 3 degree alcohols. In 3 degree alcohols or tertiary alcohols, the OH group will be attached to the tertiary carbon atom. This is our tertiary carbon atom and the OH group is attached to this. This carbon atom is our 3 degree carbon atom and this is our 3 degree alcohol. So, according to the carbon nature, they can be of primary alcohol, they can be secondary alcohol or they can be tertiary alcohol. So, we saw about aliphatic alcohols which are of further three types, monohydric, dihydric and trihydric. So, these are the primary alcohols, secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohols. Now, we will move to, move to different types of alcohols. That is dihydric alcohol. We will see about dihydric alcohols. So, these dihydric alcohols have two OH groups. They have two OH groups. They contain two OH groups in their structure. And they are also termed as glycols. They are also termed as glycols, they are also referred to as glycols. For example, for example, CH2OH, CH2OH, it is a dihydric alcohol because it contains two OH groups, it is a dihydric alcohol. So, this is a dihydric alcohol and its name is, common name is ethylene glycol or its IUPC nomenclature is ethan 1 2 di -or. This is the IUPC nomenclature. So we saw about different types of aliphatic alcohols. So aliphatic alcohols, we saw about different types of mono uh, aliphatic alcohols, different types of monohydric alcohols. The, they are of primary nature, secondary nature or tertiary nature. Then we saw about dihydric alcohols which are also called glycols because they contain two OH groups in their structure. For example, CH2OH, CH2OH, which is commonly called ethylene glycol or its IUPC nomenclature is ethan 1,2-diol. This is the IUPC nomenclature. Now we will observe that trihydric alcohols. Now we will observe trihydric alcohols. What are they? Trihydric alcohols have three OH groups. They have three OH groups in their structure. They have three consist of three OH groups in their structure. For example, CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH. This is a trihydric alcohol because it contains three OH groups. 
These are the three coach groups. So it is a trihydric alcohol and its common name is glycerin or it is also called glyceraldehyde. And its IPC nomenclature is propan 1, 2, 3, tri, all. This is IPC nomenclature. So we are saying the different classification of alcohols. The different types of alcohols are firstly aliphatic, then allylic, then vinylic, and then benzylic. So we saw aliphatic alcohols. Aliphatic alcohols are those in which OH group is attached to the primary saturated carbon atom. They are of further four types that is monohydric, dihydric, trihydric, and polyhydric. So monohydric alcohols are of further three types primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, and tertiary alcohol. Primary alcohol in which OH group is attached to primary carbon atom, secondary alcohol in which OH group is attached to secondary carbon atom, and tertiary alcohol in which the alcohol the OH group is attached to tertiary carbon atom. Then comes dihydric alcohol in which two OH groups are formed. They are also called glycols. For example, it is a compound called ethylene glycol, formerly it is called, and its IPC nomenclature is ethan-1,2-diol, and it contains two OH groups in its structure. Then comes trihydric alcohol. Trihydric alcohols mean they contain three OH groups in the structure. For example, this CH2OH, 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 it is commonly called glycine or glycerdehyde, and this common nomenclature, its IPC nomenclature is propan 1, 2, 3, tri. This is what we discussed about. We are discussing about aliphatic alcohols. These are trihydric alcohols. We will further discuss about now we will discuss about polyhydric alcohols. Polyhydric alcohols. So the polyhydric alcohols we are discussing about polyhydric alcohols. So in polyhydric alcohols, we have more than three OH groups. It contains more than three OH groups. For example, we have an example for polyhydric alcohol like CH, 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 CH. And one OH group is attached to each one carbon atom of this six membered carbon ring. Fine. So, this is the example of polyhydric alcohol, and its common name is mannitol, and its IPC nomenclature is hexane 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hexol. This is an example of polyhydric alcohol in which more than OH, more than three OH groups are found, like we saw an example of mannitol, in which six OH group is introduced in each of the carbon atom. All the six carbon atom has a one OH group, and its common name is mannitol, and its IPC nomenclature is hexane 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hexol. This is the example of polyhydric alcohol. So, this is all about the classification of aliphatic alcohols, okay? This, is, this was all about the classification of aliphatic alcohols.